simple idea that really could be the difference between life and death. A local company is developing a foam for men and women on the battlefield and beyond. And tonight we get closer to cutting edge science with Dr. Malika Marshall. It looks like a simple caulking gun, but this is no ordinary tool. Do you think this technology will really save lives? The potential impact is truly revolutionary. Dr. David King is a trauma surgeon at Mass General Hospital. He's seen the horror of battle up close, from the Boston Marathon bombings to war zones as an army medic. Guys who you have to pronounce dead because they have an injury that could be fixed, but they died before you could even get your hands on them. Extremely frustrating. To give these wounded warriors a fighting chance, Dr. King has teamed up with Arsenal Medical of Watertown to develop a trauma foam. It's really about taking someone who's gonna die and giving them a couple of hours to get to a surgeon where once you get to a surgeon, you have a pretty good chance of survival. Once a soldier is hit with enemy fire or a roadside bomb, it's crucial to stop internal bleeding. That's where this foam comes in. An intervention that uh, can be done on the ground, in the mud, on the battlefield. It's injected into the body, fills the abdominal cavity, applies life-saving pressure, stabilizing the patient. The Arsenal medical team gave us a demonstration. Ready? All right, so we're pretending we're going into a patient's abdomen. Correct, here, right? Okay. right. In 90 seconds, the liquid hardens and expands to fill the container and then this balloon. The foam can be easily removed once the patient reaches the operating room. While the foam was designed for combat, it could save lives here at home, too. We're learning that there is a really large civilian need as well. It doesn't have to be an improvised explosive device. It could be a car crash or a gunshot wound. Uh, or a fall. Until now, the foam has been a virtual success in sci-fi video games. But thanks to a $25 million grant from the Department of Defense, this real-life foam could be in use later this year. I will take um, having a surviving casualty uh, any day as a big win. And Dr. King hopes to see that big win on his next deployment. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.